Hey everyone, it's Nyala. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna hit you guys with a new product review. This is a blackhead remover. It says electric blackhead beauty instrument. It's like a suction type of thing, I guess. It's by a brand called Good Sky. Good Sky reached out to me and gifted me this one for me to do this video review for you guys and for us to see how the product works. But it is available on Amazon for $17.50 and they do have a promotion going on where you can use the coupon code GOODSKY20 to get 20% off of your order. And on top of that, we partnered together to give away one of these these over on my Instagram account. So go find me over there at The Impressive Mix and you'll see my most recent post talking about the giveaway. All right, I'm so excited to get into it because I've always seen these type of products and I've always been interested, but I never actually got around to buying one and trying one. At the moment, I actually don't technically have any blackheads, but I do have like pretty textured skin. You can see all those tiny little bumps. It seems as if my pores are clogged up. And for the last few months, I've just constantly had an oily sheen, an oil layer all over my skin. So let's see what this does. I think, Ooh, it slides out. <laughs> So it has these like four different, different little suction mounts, I guess. Like you mount it on top of it. Okay, so the handheld part also has a plastic tip on it already. So I guess five tips total, this and the four extra ones. Is it ready? Can you hear that? Let me read the directions before I get too deep into things. If I take this out, there's a micro USB charging cable. There's a bag of these little like spongy things. And then there's a booklet in the bottom. Okay, so these little things are sponges, like filter sponges. Oh yeah, because it's gonna be sucking out stuff from your skin. Let me just not get ahead of myself. Let me read it. The product itself, like the handheld part, it looks and feels like way better quality than I was expecting, if I'm being honest. I remember years ago when I first saw like ads online and stuff for blackhead removing things and things that'll suction your pores. I think they were like pretty expensive when these things first came out. So for $17.50, that's really not bad. But yet this doesn't look like it would only be $18 basically. It looks like $40, $45 and it feels heavy. I don't know. And it has, it's rechargeable instead of putting like batteries into it. I had no idea how this was going to be. I, I had no like prep. I just saw blackhead remover. I was like, sure, I'll, I'll review it. Why not? So they give a breakdown of the different type of heads that come with it. And I'm really liking the look so far of these with the little silicone on the end instead of just the straight up, you know, regular plastic. So when I look at the breakdown of these with the silicone heads, both of them are considered low suction. First, it says to open your pores by steaming the skin or by bathing. So I guess I'll go wash my face with some like hot water and then I'll come back out. Don't stay in one place for more than two seconds in order to prevent damaging your skin. After cleaning your pores, you can use skin toning to close the pores. You can use something like a facial mask or cold water. If the skin is red, don't worry. It's normal. It will fade away soon. Okay, everything seems very self-explanatory. Let me just put this silicone one on. Let me look at these settings again real quick before I go wash my face. So if I turn it on, so it's on one, two, three, four, five, and then it goes off. Okay guys, I'm back. So I washed my face with hot water, patted it dry. What I realized though is that I probably have to put in one of these sponges, but then I noticed, I figured like, let me take it apart just to double check before I throw a sponge in the wrong spot. When you take off any of the nozzle tip things, this little plastic piece comes off and there's already a little sponge in there, okay? You can't really see it on camera, but it comes already ready with a sponge in it. All right, let me move closer to the camera. I'm a little, I'm like, I'm nervous. I'll start on one, you can hear it. I don't know where to start, I guess. Ew, look at that pimple, ew, whatever. Um, let me start on my forehead because my forehead's less sensitive than the rest of my face. Okay, so you really do need to move it around quickly because this is on one and it's suction. It didn't hurt at all, like no pain or anything. But like when you hold it in one spot, it really does start like sucking. Let me hold my forehead a little tighter. Let me try and target that one. Ooh, I feel the little bump. That it, yeah, ew, it's slow. Ah! It's like slowly coming out the more I go over it. Ew, ew, it came off. Let me get a napkin. Okay. So even though these bumps still look raised, when I feel them, they honestly feel flatter than they used to. I'll update you guys on how long it takes for these, like the redness and for the, the visual 
of the bumps to go down a little bit. It feels so smooth. It feels like after you use certain like toners or moisturizers and your skin just has that like baby powder type of feeling, it feels just like that. So I don't know how much is too much. I don't wanna keep going over stuff too much. Oh, I hit the power button by accident. It went to two. You know what? I'll keep it on two for now. Screw it. Let's just go for it. Now I'm like more comfortable with it. I'm gonna get out of the uh, forehead area. Like see right there, you can see I have a little pimple bump thing. Wow, this is very, very cool. I am honestly pleasantly surprised. It's sucking. And by the way, yeah, this is still back on level one now. Um, definitely starting on low levels, especially in this part of my face. The amount of bumpiness on this side that I didn't do yet compared to this side, from here down. You can almost kind of see like a pit in my skin now. It's like something got sucked out of that little hole right there. I don't wanna overdo it. So as you can see, I only went up to like level number two, but it goes up to five if you need that. So I rinsed my face with water and you can see now that I like hold it up to the light, you can see the redness like slightly. It's more of pinkness than redness, but it's very, very like, all my pores look empty. Like, do you see all those little holes? Here's a pad with rose water on it. And I'm just gonna put it everywhere. So guys, it's been 20 minutes. What do you think? <laughs> I'm gonna go look right up into that light again. You can see obviously that this redness is still kind of up there. Then again, I was kind of like abusing my forehead with it in the first clips of the video, but you can see that everything just looks so like smoothed and almost not mattified because you could still see shininess. I guess that little bit of oiliness, the oil's gonna come back because that's just how my skin is. But it's not, obviously not as oily. The pores don't seem as clogged up and you know, making all those tiny, tiny bumps. I definitely wasn't expecting it to work that well. I didn't think that it would actually have a good amount of settings, a good amount of tips that you can put on. It just has like that good heavyweight feel to it. It doesn't feel like a piece of crap, just like lightweight plastic product. Very, very pleasant surprised and I guarantee that any of you guys who try it you will like it as well but remember before you even buy it you can run over to my Instagram and enter the giveaway and you might just win it and even if you don't win it remember that you can use the uh, good sky 20 code to get 20% off of your order for when you do decide to go buy it on Amazon so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video I really enjoyed it I can't wait to keep using it thank you guys so much for watching give this a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed it remember to subscribe if you want to see funny vlogs videos other reviews just a whole bunch of stuff coming Coming up. The channel is called The Impressive Mix for a reason. It's just a whole mix of stuff. I don't really want to be like pigeonholed into one box. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see my face ever again. And thank you so much for watching. Thanks guys. Bye.